It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each episode brings you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've unintentionally given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. If you've been thinking to yourself lately, I'd really like to make some positive changes in my world, but that big stuff, my bigger goals seems a little bit too overwhelming right now, then I've got a perfect little simple method for you to start to implement. This little power duo packs a big punch, but doesn't add a whole lot to your day or take a shit ton of time to do. But it can help you to reconnect with yourself, to put fulfillment and joy back into your world, and help you take action towards the bigger goal that you've been thinking about. Simple, approachable, and fairly easy to implement into your day with some intention. And you're going to feel more fulfilled and take movement towards your goals. Look, this is a win-win situation, my friend. Before we dig into this power duo, though, I, gosh, listen, I am so fucking excited to talk to you about this collective that we have been creating. I've always felt very drawn and called to create a space where people can come together. In fact, I ran into a childhood friend who was like, you know what, Laura, we always went on these adventures. And if if Laura said, hey, let's go into the woods together, then we went to the woods. And if we were going to go on another adventure, then I was excited to go because I just always knew that there was going to be something great there. And that part of me continues. I really love bringing people together to learn, to grow, to support one another. And after talking with literally thousands of different women, it is incredible to see how many common denominators there are. And you know what they're looking for and what you might be looking for as well? Community and connection. People that really, truly believe in you, that support you and guide you along the way. Real, tangible information. Teach me how. These women are saying to me, Laura, I want to do the work. I just don't know what to do next. Show me the how and I'll fucking do it. And lastly, it's themselves. Getting out of their own way. Learning how to trust their inner voice. Building confidence. And living out their desires instead of talking themselves out of it. This is what we're doing inside of the Gutsy Collective. And if you're digging power back episodes, think of the Gutsy Collective like power back episodes times 10. Every month you're going to get simplified, condensed, yet powerful audios to help you know how to move forward. You'll be in a community of like-minded women where you can hold one another accountable, have discussions, ask questions, and get answers. And a live Q&A with yours truly for 90 minutes every single month. We're working out some of the kinks, and I would love to have you in there as a founding member. This helps us to work out the kinks and see what's happening and just iron things out so that we build this community in the most robust and powerful way for all of you. And as a thank you, I'd like to offer you 21% off of your membership for up to 12 months. And did I mention that it's only $49 a month to begin with? All you have to do is go to lauraora.com, click on the Gussie Collective, and at checkout, enter Founder21. I really, truly, from the depths of my heart, can't wait to support you more. All right, let's get into this power duo method. I know that making positive change can sometimes feel really hard or daunting. And where do you start? You look at this big picture, you've got this big goal, and it's like, well, I I can't even imagine doing one more thing right now. I know that I want it, but I'll start it tomorrow. What ends up happening, we all know, that rolls over to the next day, to the next day, And then in three months, you're saying nothing has changed. And so if we take the shift off of the bigness, that's where a lot of the tension, the confusion, the heaviness, the expectations really lie. And instead, we focus that energy on simple, small tasks. I know you want to run, you want to have it all done today, you want it to be fixed, you want it to be in place. Look, I'm just as guilty. Oh, let me let me just call that out for a second. Not even guilty. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not guilty. You're not guilty. That's how we're fucking programmed. More, faster, do it. Like, okay, I'm literally having a moment here and I want to unpack that for a second. I'm just as guilty. I'm not fucking guilty at all. But I can take ownership of my actions when I know and recognize it. And so can you. And so I'm inviting you to do the same today. If you ever catch yourself saying, I'm just as guilty, then maybe that's also an opportunity to do a little bit of a reframe. So instead, I'll say, 
It's one of my tendencies as well. And tendencies are shiftable. And the major shift is going away from the bigness and into the present moment. Today, right now, what action can I take today? We're not going to launch an entire business this afternoon. We're not going to move across the country tomorrow. We're not going to finish a bachelor's degree in three weeks. But you can take steps forward towards them. Now, you know, I talk a lot about the one next thing or messy action. And that's a little part of this method. But there's a really important part of this step as well. And so here's the magic duo, okay? Here's where the pen and paper comes in handy. Each day, I encourage you to focus on these two things, this power duo. One, choose one thing that feels good for you. And two, choose one thing to take messy action towards. And it might feel like, okay, Laura, those are really like kind of simple things. What else you got? But the reality is, are you doing these things? Are you actually implementing them? Is this something that you've committed to? Just because they're simple doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing them. Taking a walk is simple. That doesn't mean that I don't talk my ass out of it. So let's break these two things down just a little bit further. The first one is choosing one thing that feels good to you today. And I emphasize feels good to you today, because what you need today is likely very different than what you need tomorrow, is most certainly very different than what you're going to need next week. So each day, start to get into the habit of checking in with yourself, literally communicating with your body, noticing how you're feeling. What is it that's really that's really being craved that you're hungry for, or that could just add a little bit more joy or sparkle or excitement into your day. This one thing that feels good to you is about pouring back into yourself. It doesn't have to be a whole self-care routine. It doesn't have to be the whole bubble bath situation. Sometimes this is, I need to sit in silence outside by myself for 10 minutes. Sometimes it's driving to the coffee shop and getting yourself a latte. It might be meditating or coloring, or dancing. It could be calling a friend and catching up for 15 minutes. It could even be scrolling through Pinterest and inspiring yourself. The whole point of this exercise is to choose something that you intentionally need for the day, something that will fill your cup, add joy to your world, help you to relieve something, really be able to nurture yourself in a very simplistic way. This is about intentionally adding joy into your day. Because you know just as much as I do that the day can go fucking sideways very quickly. And especially if you're in a transition, you're working towards the goal, it can be really easy to forget that like, hey, your human body, your soul, your mind, um, they also need things as well. Now the second piece of this duo is choosing one thing to take messy action towards. How do you achieve a big goal? Well, you focus on the small actions that get you there. And whether you're in the midst of launching a new product or you're opening a new business, maybe you are moving your house, you're on a health or weight loss journey, maybe you're starting a new job or starting a new career. How do we bring that stuff to life? We have to take simplistic steps forward. When you're working towards something, remember that you're working towards something. This is not I dream a genie. We can't do the little like, double arm fold and the little nose twinkle. As convenient as that might be, that's just not the case here. What you're likely looking for is completion and momentum. And while you can have some small wins along the way, some checkbox completions along the way, it's momentum that really drives the ability to continue to go. So when I say to take messy action towards this goal or towards this thing that you're working on, I'm talking about hyper-focusing to the best of your ability on a singular task that helps you get closer to that. And some days it's going to be more involved than others. Some days it's going to seem like way simple and maybe you have capacity to do two or three more. The whole point is that each day you're doing something to get closer to it. This duo is really about nurturing today you while also supporting future you. And by implementing this each day, or at least a couple of days a week, what you begin to do is to create self-fulfillment. 
you add to your confidence, you create momentum, because you're not just focused on doing all the stuff to get to the goal. You're also focused on filling your tank along the way. You can't drive a car across country without stopping to fill up the gas tank, or in today's world, without stopping to charge your EV. Why on earth are we expecting ourselves to do this entire thing, big or small, make these shifts in our world without filling ourselves up along the way? And I think, you know, I feel really called to say this right now. I think that there's also this reframe around, oh, it's one more thing. Okay, do you see how that energy just does not, it's not doing anything? I want you to start catching when you say that and when you have that kind of like in your voice. Because all that's putting fuel into are old beliefs, are old habits, old patterns. This shit doesn't serve you anymore. And being able to move forward begins with how you're talking, the energy that you're putting into it, how you're looking at things. Ugh, it's one more thing to do. All right, one more tool to put in the place. Or, okay, this is, this is something that I can do. This feels obtainable to me. Wow, this could really help me move forward. I'm not sure what it's going to look like yet, but that's okay. I'll try today or I'll start tomorrow. See, there's an incredibly different energy behind that. So I don't know, that just came to me. And I just wanted you to hear that because the way that we speak about things and the energy that we put into our words matters more than I think any of us realize. So you know I love a good example. So let me give you a couple of different ways where you might support today you while you're also supporting future you. And also, by the way, these don't have to be done in tandem. Like you don't have to do them together. The point is you have two simple ways that you can implement to feel better inside and also move forward towards your goals. For instance, some things that might feel good today. Again, you're only going to know what this is for yourself by slowing down long enough to hear yourself and literally ask, ask your mind, ask your body, what do I need today? What would help us to feel better? What would bring me a lot of joy right now? What's something that would feel just really fulfilling? And today that might be, you know what? I could really just use some fresh air. It's beautiful outside. I'm going to go take a 10 minute walk. It might be, you know, I've got a pretty packed day. I've got a lot of stuff to do, but I know that music really helps me. And so I'm going to I'm going to really indulge in some of my favorite music as I'm working today. It could be, you know what? I could just use a little bit of a break. I want to get out a little bit. I want a tasty treat, so I'm going to drive to my local coffee shop and get an iced coffee and sit out on the patio. It could be I've got this really cool shirt that I bought at Marshalls hanging in my closet. It still has a tag on it and I haven't I haven't been able to wear it. I haven't had the courage to do it. But you know what? I just feel like that would feel really good today. I'm feeling like the mood of that shirt. So I'm going to choose that. I'm going to wear it. It would feel good to do the craft that I started last week. It would feel good to call a friend and catch up. Hell, it would feel good to go sit out in my car and scream at the top of my lungs and let some of that pent up energy out. Follow what it is that you need in that moment, in that day. All you have to do is get quiet for a second, go inward, listen, ask yourself, your body will tell you your only role in that moment, though, is to not talk yourself out of the first thing that comes to mind. Of course, we want to be safe and responsible here. Let's not get that skewed. It's not deciding that you want to go for a walk and then talking yourself out of doing it. It's not talking yourself out of driving to go get the coffee. It's hearing it, feeling it, and then acting on it. And on the flip side, with the messy action, this is where you're supporting your future self. This is where you're taking one next step towards your goal or what it is that you're working on. This could be making the phone calls that you've been putting off, updating a single page on your website, doing a good brain dump and getting all of those ideas out of your head, gathering up all the papers. You've got this idea like coming together, but you've got shit everywhere. Like maybe it's just gathering all of the shit. It might be initiating a conversation following up on emails, clearing your desk, researching a topic, reaching out for guidance. Do you see how this is just an active step forward? We're not trying to achieve the entire thing today. We're trying to get one step closer to it. I promise that if you start to implement this as part of your daily practice, not only are you going to start to feel a little better every day, you're also going to start to feel more productive. 
You're going to build the confidence within yourself. You're going to see those changes start to happen. And before you know it, you're going to turn around and be like, oh my God, I got so much done. Oh my gosh, how did I get to this point? Oh my gosh, this goal is achieved. And I feel pretty good about it. Like I didn't burn myself out, for instance. I nurtured my body along the way. Holy shit, I can achieve my goals without burning my shit out. Can we make that the new social norm, by the way? Working towards something that we are passionate about without completely annihilating ourselves? Because I'll tell you, I've nailed that portion. Um, Zero out of 10 recommend. Maybe that can be a topic for a whole nother episode. My friend, let it be easy. Let it be easier for yourself. Nurture yourself along the way. When I say nurture and self-care, it's like sometimes I don't even want to say that shit because it sounds fluffy. It sounds overdone. But what else is it? It's fucking intentionally putting good things into yourself. It's about caring about yourself just as much as you care about other people. It's about really owning like, I'm fucking important. (laughs) My body and my mind have needs. And if I don't take care of those needs, I'm not going to have a mind or a body to do a damn thing with. And my goals are important. My passions are important. There's something that's calling me. I'm working towards something. And that gets to be big and amazing and new and adventurous. I'm not going to water down my needs or my wants because something or someone told me that I needed to. I can achieve great things and also care for myself. I want this to become our new narrative, okay? Because getting to the top of the mountain and not having a single ounce of energy to celebrate it is a real shit feeling. Instead, now we're getting a quarter of the way up the mountain and we're celebrating it and we're feeling good. We're getting halfway up the mountain and we're celebrating even more and we're feeling good about it. Three quarters of the way, we're celebrating it. We're feeling good about it. And you know what? When we get to the top of the fucking mountain, our mental and physical health outweigh our achievements. The true achievement is caring for yourself. And oh, by the way, I also did this really awesome thing that I've been working on. This is our new story, okay? Damn, I can get I can get real fired up about this shit sitting here in my office by myself. But it's because I just believe so deeply in shifting these fucking narratives and living lives that we actually feel alive in. So remember your power duo, okay? Let it be easy. Choose one thing that feels good to you today and choose one thing to take messy action towards. I'm telling you, if you implement this, you're going to see shifts and you're going to be so fucking surprised at how easy it got to be. And in case you're wondering, this is the kind of shit we're going to dig even further into inside the Gutsy Collective. So for instance, if this episode were our focus for the month, today you would get this 20 minute episode. And then for the next three weeks, once a week, you're also going to get a five minute focus prompt, a way for you to know what to focus on and how to take action towards it. There's a discussion space where you can talk to your peers about what's going on. And then in the month, we're going to get live together on Zoom and I'll answer any and all questions that I can. So go to lauraora.com and click on the Gutsy Collective. Enter the code FOUNDER21, all one word, when you go to checkout and you'll save 21% off of your membership for the first year. You can also connect with me on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. You can find me using at that Laura Aura. And as always, until I see you next time, stay gutsy.